Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Tuesday, March 13th, one minute before midnight, 2018. You're looking at the Volcano Watch split screen here. And what you're about to see is Sakurahima erupting to the right just about an hour ago. Uh, this has been ongoing for a while. And you should come over and check it out. There's a lot to cover tonight. This is the Shindo, Shinmodaki up here. Sakurahima down here erupting currently as we're making the video. Plus Agung, Turialba, Popo, Colima, Yellowstone, and Cinnabon. But you can see the different color ash here. Very interesting slow motion eruption happening at Shinmo. I'm sorry, Sakurahima. On with the update. The internet's freaking out over a huge solar storm, which is a total lie. There has been no X flare that came off the sun. Dabu7 is reporting on that. Total nonsense. There is, we are about to couple with this coronal hole, and we'll talk about it, and I'll leave you links to all of this. So don't worry about uh, this crazy solar storm. There hasn't been an X flare since last September on the 10th. And then since then, the only other significant flare was an M1.1 in October. So there hasn't been an X flare and they're lying to you. I, I don't, it's just fake news all over the place. Here's the coronal hole that is about to send us maybe into G1 magnetic storm, but right now the solar wind speed is so low, the sun is quiet, we're in solar minimum, nothing's happening. <laughs> KP's been at zero recently. The planet has been psychic. Total nonsense. There's not even any aurora of note, less than 25% probability of seeing any aurora, and only right here in this part of northern Canada. So sometime tomorrow, we may go into G1 magnetic storm, but nothing significant. Only minor perturbations to the grid if anything happens at all. We doubt it. More is happening with Skylar. Winter storm Skylar slamming into the Bay State, causing blizzard conditions and dropping trees on homes. Wind gusts in Massachusetts reached 77 miles per hour in Nantucket, 79. Besides Boston, it has officially reached blizzard condition in Martha's Vineyard, Marshfield, Plymouth, and Hyannis. The top snowfall totals 25 inches in Derry, New Hampshire. By Tuesday evening, parts of Rhode Island and Massachusetts had gotten nearly 22 inches, while Southampton, New York saw 18.3 inches, Waterford, Connecticut, 17.5. Thunder snow was reported in Plymouth, and people are taking their inflatable mattresses and going down the hill. <laughs> What is that? That's a boom. So I'll leave you links to all these fantastic articles. There's ve they're really not covering this that well. Skylar is on target for heavy snowfall in central Maine. Um, Boston, yes, but a, uh, central Maine is going to be really what's shaping up to be the area's heaviest snowfall in the winter. Scor Storm Skylar was dumping a predicted 18 inches of snow in central and western Maine Tuesday. Heavier snow at a rate of 2 to 3 inches per hour will linger into tonight, then change over to lighter snow an inch or out, an inch an hour or less through mid-morning Wednesday. Winds will gust 15 to 25. We're going to quick look at the GFS model. Well, that's just not looking good, folks. Let's quick talk about epic buffalo record at stake. It is eerie eyeing 200 inches of snow. The 199 inch record has stood for a while 41 years to be exact. 199.4 inch snowfall total of the 1976 77 bicentennial snow record is associated with the fierce blizzard of 77. But after 41 years, that's going to be broken because there is snow predicted 
lake effect for days all the way through the end of March, and they're going to destroy that record by up to feet. And that's just the truth. Nothing's coming in on the GFS model, unfortunately. Here we go. Beautiful. Let's pause it up. So here we are through the next 24 hours. Maine is going to get the brunt of the end of the storm here. All of those snowfall totals are not showing on this map. Quick look at the Sierras here. 24 inches plus in the next 24 hours. And if we run it through, take a look at what's happening across the country as we head into spring. A major snow event will hit the Upper Plains, followed by a secondary event here on March 20th that right now is coming at the GFS, burying Pennsylvania, Philadelphia with 20 inches of snow on the 21st of March. Welcome to spring, Philly. This is going to be the spring Philly blizzard. The way it's looking on the GFS models. And a little bit more coming a little south. I'll let it run through one more time for you. Here's what's happening in the next day and a half up in Maine. And the Sierras are going to get buried. Good news for California. Right at this point, California could have 5 to 10 feet of snow by March 17th, this Saturday. 5 to 10 feet of new snow. Some models are showing 5 to 10 feet of new snow in the Sierras by this Saturday. As the models go through next week, here we are on Wednesday, the first day of spring. 17 inches predicted in Philadelphia. These models will change. That's an early heads up. The Zud kills more than 700,000 animals so far this year in Mongolia. We re we've reported on this twice. Almost three quarters of a million animals have died so far this year. This isn't a freak accident. This is as predicted as we descend into the eddy minimum the modern minimum, the modern grand solar minimum. Every decade will be a new sequence of events as the empire unfolds before your very eyes. So you got to start learning how to survive and thrive in the future, guys. Another significant cold outbreak threatens the entire Europe. I showed you the GFS models yesterday and the day before, and it's looking like the same time that Philadelphia is predicted to get 17 inches, areas of Spain and Portugal and France and Germany are going to be freezing. And up to two feet of snow is predicted for the UK on the first day of spring. We'll see how much they cover that. Quick seismic update. There's nothing of note. We have some... Significant damage in the Peru area and some landslides and loss of life coming out. Yellowstone's rumbling up here in Lincoln, a 3.3. Volcano Discovery, there's a problem with the Volcano News. It's not updating. They're having problems with this server. Savinkaya has having intermittent emissions. We can see Mayon had an eruption today. Torrealba is erupting. Sakurahima, we watched it, is ongoing at different levels of eruptive activity due to the cosmic ray flux as we descend into the grand solar minimum. Here we can clearly see a major eruption happening here just an hour ago at Sakurahima. It's ongoing. So... You can see it blasting up there. Boom. Boom. Way up into the atmosphere. That's way up there. So I'll leave you links to this. Go over to Volcano Watch and check it out. This is shooting up 5,000 meters, maybe 5 kilometers. It's, it's a pretty significant event, folks. Let's talk about this awesome guy named Gordon McWhorter who came out with this mashup of Ice Age Farmer, Adapt 2030, Oppenheimer Ranch, and others. <laughs> Suspicious Observer. It's hilarious. Come look at it. It's, it's really funny. 
You'll get a kick out of it. It's worth a look. Mad props. Gandhi Beats featuring DJ McHu, number four, Solstice Vibophony. Come check it out. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this guy. It's, it's hilarious. It's worth the look. Let's talk about Anita Bailey, PhD. He's going to be joining us tomorrow night on our radio program over at freedomslips.com, Studio A. That's from 10 to 12 Eastern Standard, 7 to 9 West Coast. <coughs> Her book is 1895 here, getting four and a half stars at Amazon. But you don't want to buy it there. You want to buy it here, the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Special. 1495 free shipping. It's 20, over 20% off the cover price. No shipping charge. International buyers will receive the book more quickly if purchased from Amazon.com directly. So all you U.S. people, get the deal here and buy it from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Special. We're going to be talking about chapters 4, 5, and 6, securing water, how to stockpile water, how to purify water, the best... Water purification systems, excuse me. Water is the number one most important thing other than food that you need to secure as far as preparedness moving into the future. And we'll be discussing that at length with a two-hour discussion with Anita Bailey, PhD, tomorrow. We're also going to be working on the connectivity issues, so hopefully we'll have a better, a clearer radio show tomorrow. And that's thanks, thanks to one of our listeners and our patrons that's going to be running us directly through their cable feed at a Tucson. So we'll see how that works. We're working on it. Let's talk about these two awesome dudes. This is Chase and Nathan from Hemp Lucid. This is these guys at uh, Observing the Frontier Conference with all their CBD products. They're working out of Utah. Their farm is right up the road here in Colorado where they secure the most amazing CBD product available. And you can find it over here. We are finally uh, have a special Oppenheimer Ranch affiliate page, which we're going to link in every video. So if you're looking to stockpile medicine for the coming times and it's CBD and full plant tincture hemp, then Hemp Lucid is the guys you want to be buying it from. And through our page, you get free shipping anywhere in the United States. There's amazing information here on the products. I recommend the whole plant CBD MCT oil if you want a fast uptake an instantaneous relief of pain, I would go with the 1500 milligram. And they have a water soluble whole plant CBD. They also have a whole plant vape drip. If you vape, you can be vaping 150 milligrams of CBD up to 1500 milligrams. The prices are from 29 bucks up. So for just a couple bucks, you can get your feet dipping into the healing natural products that's the whole plant tincture. And what I mean by that is they just, most CBD products that you buy are isolates. These isolates, they just take the CBD and they ruin all the cannabinoids. These products here are the whole plant extract, which has all the terpenes, all the cannabinoids, all the health, of, health effects, the anti-cancer properties. These products are have health benefits that we cannot even begin to understand because we haven't done the science needed yet, but we know they're effective. So you have nothing to lose. Come check them out. Hemp Lucid is the number one supplier of full plant tincture. It's the full cannabinoid spectrum with terpenes in the most, in the cleanest extract possible. There are no residues in here. A fully delicious product for your health and for your life. You want to be stockpiling that. And that's a heads up. And the first boom, heads up, cannabis style. Full hemp lucid, hemp product. Heads up, Nathan <coughs> and Chase, my boys. Chase and Nathan. Chase, Nathan, some dude with a ponytail. And all their awesome products. 
Check them out. Buy their stuff. If you want to support our channel, support Hemp Lucid. By supporting these guys, you're supporting us. You're supporting the best product, the purest product available in the country, coming locally, grown organically. Do it. And that's a boom. Before we leave, I hope you got something out of the video. There I am right here in the middle. This is Observing the Frontier, all the cool people that stayed for the picture. There's Ben and Cat up on the roof and all the other cool people. Now, this guy is probably the oldest dude there. Total <laughs> badass. I love this dude. Um, and we're going to be offering some colloidal silver care of this dude. He's making it. This guy's from Dubai. He flew all the way into Dubai to be at the OTF 2018. Uh, one of my favorite new friends. I met tons of these people. Guys, get out to Observing the Frontier next year if you want to learn about citizen sciences, scientists changing the world. One YouTube video at a time. Be safe, everybody.